Let's build up to the idea of schemas by way of instances. We've been working with instances so far in this class, and one thing that might have occurred to you is to say, well, instances are kind of overkill. If I just wanted to create an HTML page, I'd go into an HTML editor like Dreamweaver or something like that, and I would just create my HTML page and be done with it. Why do I need to go to the extra trouble of creating an instance and then making that instance into an HTML file? And that's a valid question. For very small projects, very small websites, where the only output is a website and you have, say, 10 pages, that's the appropriate approach. Don't bother with a schema, just create 10 HTML pages and you're done. But that's not what we're aiming for in this course. In this course, we're aiming for talents that will apply to larger systems that have more complicated kinds of information in them, that would produce a website that's much larger than 10 pages, and that would also produce things other, other than just websites print publications or emails or syndications or all sorts of other things that you might want to do with your information. And of course, really what we're aiming at is an understanding of the structure of information and a way to represent that structure. So for us, the instance is appropriate because we're not just creating simple websites. The next question you might ask is, is an instance enough? Is an instance just an instance, just creating an XML instance, say in Notepad or even in, in Oxygen, is that enough to do the work that we need to do? And to that I would answer, no, it's not enough because the instance is not enough for you to represent the model of information. The instance represents the actual information, but there's many, many rules that an instance can't help you define. It can't help you figure out what those rules are. So for example, if you say I have an information type and that information type is called article, does it start with a capital A or a lowercase a? If you're just in an instance, it really doesn't matter. Every tag is only check to see that it opens and closes and that it's all one word. And if you capitalize it one time and you make it lowercase the other time, that's all okay. There's nothing stopping that from, um, there's not, nothing stopping that from being called good. So that's a problem. A, the schema solves that problem by, type, uh, by casing all of the tags. If you call it lowercase article in the schema, it will be lowercase article everywhere inside your instance. More globally, the schema makes sure that your instance is consistent with itself. That every time you do the same operation inside an instance, you do it the same way. That the tag has the same name, that it has the same children, etc. So instances aren't enough for defining that internal consistency. They'll let you name things three different ways and you'll never know the difference. How about sharing your instance with other people? If you share your instance, you might say, well, if I want somebody to do one like mine, I'll just give them mine. But the problem is there's variability. Sometimes you're allowed to have an abstract and other times you don't have an abstract. When must there be an abstract? When must there not be an abstract? That's not told by the, by the instance. The instance gives examples of, of, of content that you consider to be the right content, but it doesn't enforce when it's wrong. And it doesn't tell you what the rule is behind that. So for example, articles need an abstract and um, uh, news items don't. Well, the news items, if you put an abstract in a news item, the instance isn't going to care. The schema will care. The schema defines those sorts of rules.